Welcome to the November 2017 issue of What's Up in Paris. This monthly magazine is dedicated to everything you need to experience, see, listen to and do in Paris. So stay with us and discover the What's Up in Paris selection of the events you shouldn't miss in November 2017. If you're keen on arts and craft, head for the Carousel du Louvre. From the 2nd to the 5th of November, the Salon du Patrimoine Culturel will be there for its 23rd year. The event, organized by Atelier d'Art de France, is set to attract over 350 artisans from the carousel to represent the renewal of international cultural heritage and know-how. Visitors will discover a wide range of traditional trade, hidden aspects of French culture, and part of what goes on beyond the scenes in the production of many monuments in France. Practical information www.patrimoineculturel.com for its second year, Nuit de la Poésie will take place at l'Institut du Monde Arabe on Saturday 11th of November from 7pm to 8am. This free nighttime event offers a number of readings, concerts and many other poetic performances with well-known guests such as Dominique Blanc, Charles Berlin, the singer Camélia Jordana and the poet Mohamed Moudan. Visitors are also free to visit the museum's temporary exhibitions. The whole program on www.imaram.org. The most authentic thing is the face. I believe that photography is best place to perpetuate its image. From 20th October to February 2018, the Cartier Foundation is offering a retrospective exhibition as tribute to the Malian photographer Malik Sidibe, who died a year ago. Over 250 photos are on show, including some that have never been shown to the public. They offer an immersion in Bamako nightlife with the changing nature of African youth dancing to the rhythm of the rock and the twist of the 60s along with a series of studio portraits. A work halfway between tradition and the birth of a new fashion and a new life. Information www.fondationcartier.com Looking for something out of time from another world? Then head for the Musée des Arts Forains which is opening once again for the All Saints holiday period. Until the 5th of November, adults and children can take guided tour to discover the most beautiful old fairground rides and games. Devised by private collector Jean-Paul Favon, the exhibition is organized around themes such as Curiosity Cabinets, the Venice Festival, Extraordinary Gardens and the Fun Fair of the Belle Epoque. Entry by reservation only, online on www.arforan.com or by telephone on 01434016622. Finally, the Cité des Sciences will be taking children aged 7 to 11 on a magical journey combining science and fairy tales with its Il était une fois exhibition. An entertaining, highly interactive way of tackling physical, chemical, and mathematical concepts through the freedom of children's literature to classics. For example, the Big Bad Wolf video is used to explain the biology of the world, sight, hearing, diet, sense of smell, while the camera that lies teaches children that you mustn't always believe what you see and hear as unlike Pinocchio, people's nose don't grow longer. Practical information www.citescience.fr if you haven't heard of him, go and see him. The talented enigmatic Benjamin Clementine is back for a concert in Paris at the Grand Rex on Tuesday 7th of November 2017. You'll be able to hear the top tracks from his first album, At Least For Now, which came out in 2015, and a single from his second work, Phantom of Alpoville. Don't close your eyes. On the classical music front, Berrios comes to the Musée National des Arts Asiatiques Guimet. Composition Persane, Les Flûtes Enchantées, organized in collaboration with the Côte Saint-André Berrios Festival, several concerts of the composer's music will take place on the 3rd and the 4th of November as part of the Enquête Vagabonde exhibition portraying Émile Guimet's travel in Asia. Concert at 4 pm and 8.30 pm as program available on www.guimet.fr. Tradition obliged, the Grande Rue de la Concorde in Paris will be back from the 17th of November. What fun to have a bird's eye view of the Champs Elysees and the Tuileries during the Christmas festivities. The big wheel has been part of the Paris skyline for 23 years now. Introduced by Marcel Campion, the initiative has been copied worldwide. Nearly 130 cities now have one. And now that the cold weather is coming in November, 
why not go and warm your insides at the chocolate bar in the Jardin du Marais Hotel? Open from 20th of November to the 14th of January 2018, the hotel's vast terrace takes on the look of a chalet where you can enjoy a hot chocolate, café liégeois, mochaccino, waffles and pancakes. Informations www.lesjardinsdumarais.com Have a great November everyone, we'll be back on the 1st of December.